Kwa majina ninaitwa Peter Tena, mimi ni patron wa Kenya Internal Red Space Persons Organization. Jambo ambalo linatushangaza. Waziri mkuu wa zamani wetu Raila Amolo Odinga. Na azimio kwa jumla kuweza kumfokea balozi wa Amerika na sisi kama waadhiriwa tukikumbuka kama sio inchi kama hizo za, za, za kimataifa zikiongozwa na Kofi Annan marehemu na viongozi wale wengine katika ulimwengu mzima waliokuja katika taifa letu hatungekuwa na taifa leo kwa hivyo tunamuomba waziri mkuu wa zamani na yeye ndiye kiongozi wa upinzani katika taifa letu la Kenya atusaidie tu na jambo moja hawa wa, 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 wa marafiki zetu mataifa ma, 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 majirani na ulimwengu ambapo tunapoishi tunawahitaji kwa sababu hatuwezi ishi ulimwengu peke yetu watoto wetu wanaenda kwa masomo kule kuna hizi zile uh, diafra pesa nyingi sana zinatoka kutoka nchi za nje zikikuja huku na sisi pia tunachangia katika ule pande mwingine wakati taifa letu lina attack kama lile taifa la Amerika na kuattack mataifa yale mengine huko nje sasa ni nini ambacho kimebadilika hivi kwamba Amerika si wazuri ni nini kimebadilika hivi kwamba Ujerumani si nzuri ni nini kimebadilika hivi kwanza Ufaransa si nzuri so ombi letu ni hili moja waziri mkuu wetu ambao tunajua yeye ndiyo nguzo ya siasa katika nchi yetu na ametu, amekuwa katika mstari wa mbele na kila mmoja katika taifa letu tunajua yale amefanya azidishe kuturejesha ili tuwe na uiano mzuri na mataifa yale mengine ili nchi hii yetu iweze kupiga hatua kwa sababu serikali iliyoko mamlakani ilichukua hatamu za uongozi 2022 je tukiwa na mataifa kama hayo hayajavamiwa na, na kudhurumiwa kwaekezaji watatoroka tunasema waekezaji wetu wanakimbia kutoka nchi yetu wakati tunatoa matamshi kama yale ya kufokea ma, iz, wale majirani zetu na mataifa ile ingine ya kigeni na tunajua wazi hatuwezi maisha bila wao tunaenda wapi kwa hiyo wakati huu waziri mkuu wetu historia yako ni kama ile ya Nelson Mandela ijenge sasa na Kenya kwanza na itakuwa ya kukukumbuka milele na milele kwa sababu ya yale ambayo umefanya katika taifa hili hakuna mtu yoyote ambaye hajui kazi ambayo waziri wetu mkuu wa zamani amefanya katika taifa letu tunasema kuwa saa hizi tusaidie kwa kushika rais wetu mkono na, na mawaziri walio katika ile serikali waweze kututoa katika lindi la umasikini wafanyo <laughs> 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 <laughs>
community leaders shena dhuri ya kanitha in those committees shena ofishi shia cdf na education officers at machinani level luni tota kwa shena ili ya disturbing na managers aitu dhini wa kolo rihari of the mari mako mari part of that committee kogo dhili kari ya onile program eno ito nejega in terms of transparency ya tuwe nayo ya selection Nyo na umogire no mede kwa nao kurehe through World Bank manitanya nao tumati ilina selection process yo. So so far this program uni kiyitia shi chana over 55,177 countrywide. Shia ikuti na shia terikari. Nao tuwa di nabere. Nao tuwa di nabere. Utu terere klasi iti ike eno ya muisho. Yeka nito uko otu na program eno gidi nabere. Joint selection process ya ikuti na oso terikari tulu elimu. Arutu ya uro na haa haa mwede nyo mwede ili ni maumete very diverse backgrounds and very vulnerable backgrounds. Na mwede ya uro na haa mwato kura kwa mati ya shiari. Kogo idhuwe ni tuwe utagira tukotu na idhuwa shiari yao tuwa kako matara. Anoke ya tu matare maudu maya mara hane kathi dhine wadhi. Ni tuwe ibute maudu mashu wa uro kwa mwede ya 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 Tidu ta Afrika, tu tidu wa kinyo wana mwota mashio. Na tunagitu ya kristiano, unu kia tuwa liyeshe na shitu, mitugo miega ya meturile. Na muno muno umatige maudu maigi, mabe makosin treat na kia tomokere ya mahetu. Tudu ino ni nafasi mahetu ni egai. Tuniyadu igi muno maa praite nafasi ino, makiaga, ayani yomo ilu. Kugu ni matige maudu maagi maku mahegesha na madhomo. Mabe, maikale hau, mwe nafasi yu madhome, madhiri university, matiri communities yao na o maete ni. Kugu, tayu kwiti, nituda kwa role yu taashi yari. Managers aitu o the hari ya mari. Fururi yu, ni maruta awe roshi wako komenta shia naishi. Ito ni duwa shiari ya shia naishi yu. Na nikito kete kinya hao mwode. Kuma, muna newe ito Dr. James Mwangi, directors o the afegi, managers aitu o the, tuko watu kilu kimwe. Tutiri shi na shi, shote ukora na jira jira. Being the transformers of our families, being the solution to this country's leadership, whether they have been stolen from us, the quality of influencing others and remind them they are leaders. They have led themselves this far. They like these values, sir. And they will act as a guard name. You will never get in trouble. They protect you. That's the essence of character. <coughs> brings us together to learn from each other, to learn from our ch chaplains. They become the guard names. People cannot follow. You will never become a public leader unless you have led yourself. So leadership is about forming relationships. <laughs> leadership is about winning trust and confidence of others. To be harder for the period that it was stolen. So we were working 12 hours, now work 18. And you catch up and all will be well. It's an aspiration. It's just three, four short years since we joined the program. And we had great teams and there is ever unlucky. Nobody is ever unlucky. You always get what you want. You will be setting them for another death because of irresponsibility. Values helps us to take responsibility. I know sometimes we try to justify and say, you know, you know what. Giving a drunkard, a drug addict, a Ferrari. I've separated myself from the vintage life. I've separated myself from the past. I guarantee myself I will be a successful scholar. I, I want to encourage all of us that now you have the opportunity.
I always say that there can never be a substitute. There can never be a substitute for what we call hard work. You can never die for working hard. But can, you can always, and you'll always be rewarded for working hard. Today, world all over, many of your colleagues are struggling with unnecessary distractions. Your sole duty and responsibility is to ensure that you pursue what you have been sent to the institutions of learning to do. Be wary of peer pressure. It has been said, and it is going to be repeated the upteenth time, because this is the only way to ensure that you get what you were sent to do. Today, one all over, parents over and over, everywhere, they are struggling with trying to guide their children against the challenge of drug and substance abuse. I want to guide you, I want to ask you, and by extension, implore upon you, being my young daughters and my young sons, do not attempt. Drugs and substance abuse has messed many young people who have failed to achieve their full potential as a result of messing up their systems the way God wanted them to operate. The way the drugs operate, they destabilize you, they mess you up, they substitute your thinking by something else that was not intended for you. If you see it, if you see your colleagues abuse the drugs, kindly report immediately to the next authority. While in school, report to the management of the school. Outside here, report to the authorities that are supposed to be handling those issues. Once more, what you, you have been given is a new leaf of life. The ability to surf through the waves in the turbulent environments of the world. And once you embrace it, I'm telling you and I'm assuring you, you will live a life that is different from your peers. The next few years to come, you'll be visiting your villages and you'll not be believing what you'll be seeing. Choices have got consequences, right? The boys, please take care of yourselves. We do not want you to be disadvantaged because we rely on you. We have got a lot of hope and there are very many things that are going on, even with the girls, drug abuse. We also have got something we call gender-based violence. Please ensure that these ones are not practiced in school. If anything like that happens, you report Truth and gender champion. If the gender champion is not there, you go to the guidance, to the deputy, to the principal. If it is not addressed, when you are going home, you go to the branch where you take your certificate. There is a log, and I think uh, our partners know, there is a log for the complaints. You record it there, and it will be followed. If you don't get there, you ask for the education office, the subcount director or director's office. You record there. If you don't get that, you go to the headquarter where you have got the count director of education. You report. If nothing happens, I'm sure you will get somebody who can bring that one to the attention of the ministry and the quarters. When we get complaints, they are addressed to the end. 
but we have not gotten to that stage because our partners are up to date and they follow up those cases and they are brought to conclusion successively. When you know your purpose, then you can take your space in the world. And your purpose will be driven by values. And values range from the very best to the very worst. Although usually when we speak values, we speak of worth. And when you're worth, then it's a good thing. Such that when you sit here to partake this generosity, it comes then as a challenge to all of us that we need to take this forward and spread the good. I like the presentation earlier by Madame that the 52,000 scholars who will be supported by the program toward the end of the year, if you do a multiplier effect of that goodness, then we'll have a wonderful country. We'll have a wonderful world because that one child from that home will have a positive impact on the parents, or the parent, the guardians, the siblings, the community, the village you're coming from, and eventually this goodness will spread to the nation. And this goodness can only begin to burn the fire of goodness if we love one another, we have the unity, and our true values for humanity are embedded in what it is we do and think and plan for the world.